All right, everybody, I would like you to smile and hold your head up high. That's probably the best thing you can do for your posture. And I mean, I don't think your body would know the difference between a real and a fake smile. Other people might, but if you smile enough, eventually it'll be real. Then I'd like you to breathe to the fullest. Think of something good in your life that you'd like to have more of. Because people are a creature of habit. I think I've said this before. Everything that you do is a gateway into doing that same thing more intensely in the future. You might hear of gateway drugs that lead you into a life of addiction. But let's think of gateway thoughts, gateway actions, gateway habits that will lead you into a lifetime of success. If you squeeze uh, an orange, what, what comes out? It's orange juice. Now, never in a million years will you squeeze an orange, an apple juice will come out. Why is that? Because that's what's inside. Now, when someone squeezes you, what comes out is what's inside. You do it once, you'll do it again. Who are you going to be? Are you going to be someone who who, uh, who drinks and does drugs every now and then? What kind of future is that going to lead to you? Are you going to be someone who stays at your best and does all that you can do for yourself and for others all the time? What I'm getting at is what you do and the actions you do and the thoughts you partake, the information you consume, it's part of your identity, and your identity will follow you for life. I uh, identify as a lifelong learner, a lifelong mover, and I hope these identities will have compound interest, compound returns in my life. So I hope. thinking about your diet and diet can be more than a nutritional diet there's a movement diet the kind of exercises and moves you perform throughout your life an informational diet what do you consume do you let i mean i'll be the first to admit i will let a couple youtube shorts get the better part of an hour of my life when i'm not focusing or sometimes it's okay to roll in the dirt while I roll around in the mud watching some YouTube shorts. But just be mindful of what you consume. What your mouth consumes, what your eyes consume. Information and food and everything. So I took a little break from from the intense one-arm supports against the wall. I just kind of did a basic, you know, just get the blood pumping kind of day. Just go through the motions. Do the squats, do the pull-ups, do the handstand presses. Just the things that are easy. I didn't really take the time to, to push it. Maybe I should have. I made a mobility video that you can check out. Uploaded it today about some of the two most important exercises for mobility that I think helped me. Uh, The splits and the bridge. Now, you know what? I said I didn't push it, but look at this right here. Now, I think that's a dragon squat. This side's a little uglier. I think I still kind of did the same. I don't know how that side, like I'm touching the same way, but that's the the latter side that I just did is a lot shallower, but I'm still touching the feet. So I don't know, maybe I'm off balance. Maybe one side's heavier than the other. These uh, Hawaiian pirate squats I'm doing here are, I think they go well with 
the dragon squat because if you think about it kind of the legs are the same position just the opposite leg is working so here splits if you'd like the tutorial um check out the one i just made today i foregone the bridge i will i don't know what i'll do tomorrow i feel good i feel really good uh, my elbow my left elbow left knee feeling sore so I, I i i have a lot of options for tomorrow i'll have to mull it over tonight what kind of training i'll do tomorrow i think maybe i'll go back to the traditional bridge and air chair and then the day after go back to the single arm supports maybe i'll do some power moves some hopping i don't know but i do know i will keep moving keep improving and keep learning so I can share with you. Uh, Richard Feynman said the best way to learn something is to teach it. So I will teach all of you. Hopefully you get a little bit of value and you can like and subscribe. The most important thing. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Um,